السلام المؤمن المؤمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله يا ما يشركون هو الله الخالق والبارئ والمصور امين له الاسماء والحسنى امين يسبح له ما في السماوات والارض وهو العزيز الحكيم امين اللهم ارفعنا ولا تهدانا امين وارفعنا ولا ترفعنا امين وعاتنا ولا تهرمنا امين اللهم اهدنا ولا تنقذنا وارحمنا ولا تعذبنا امين وفرج همومنا واشفع همومنا وانصرنا ولا تغذلنا واكرمنا ولا تهدنا وانصرنا And I'm honored to commemorate this momentous occasion with you all. This ceremony is proof, if any were needed, that the determination of the Akufuado Baumia government to decentralize development and ensure that every corner of Ghana benefits from the progress and prosperity we strive to achieve. This fleet of 2,200. All right, I will see you. I back here. Love media. So, I show YouTuber uh, Lavest TV in Africa. And then, story I'm going to is about Oman Penin and Nado Danko Kufuado. New program our launch here. I will see you. Mr. President, I salute you. Mr. President, I salute you. I have district road. Improvement program. I will see a big boy. Ah, I'm going to go to the back. 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 Beautiful projects our man been in launch here. We did. Well, I'm bought by an ambassador before. Seriously, right? Issues surrounding the whole project say or the cost involved in that matter. But as I say, you bought a buy an ambassador for this project. A big boy, pa 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 pa. So now, now, we move on in terms of how we introduce our new way 2016 and now 2020. Ah, campaign with Jimmy Mom because. Major problem I eh, affecting empire crime. Major problem. Oko a front place crowdy. Nyen 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 nyen. Kouha kouha. Oko ko crowdy. Ufisi biya o nam bypass no so ufisi biya oko yo. Clean. Rakro ni minuche. Oko ko kuya do trato. Hey, winners one more side. Adusiya. It is a project we there. Me say wow, babe, dia grow me hono. Let come out and show because a very important. It's me and she national. Chief Imam, Empire of Jogu, or my opinion, and now the Danko Kufal and the Vice Solon. You are not a president, almost one video on my compiling on the Yamuashi. We are Kaylova Media Lovers TV Africa. But what they are supposed to subscribe to the channel now, man. Salatu ala Nabi Yil Karim. Allahumma jal bala naga na bala na amin wa tumman. Amin. اللهم اجعل بلدنا غانا بلدنا امن متبل امين اللهم ابد رئيس جمهورية غانا امين نحن اقف علو ونعيبه جوزا وبني باونا نعم سيري لبنزا ناد القرآن على جبل نعم لرعيته خاشعة مشهدية وما خشيت الله امين وتلك الامثال ونذريبها للناس الى هل لهم يتفكرون امين والله والذي لا اله الا هو آلم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم والله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المؤمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله يا ما يشركون والله الخالق والبار والمصور له الأسماء والحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم اللهم ارفعنا ولا تهدانا وارفعنا ولا ترفعنا وعاتنا ولا تهرمنا اللهم اهدنا ولا تنقذنا وارحمنا ولا تعذبنا وفرج همومنا واشف همومنا وانصرنا ولا تغذلنا واكرمنا ولا تهدنا وانصرنا ولا تبلانا وانصرنا واكرمنا ولا تبلانا 
It is an honor and privilege to stand before you today as we mark a significant milestone in the journey of our nation. This morning we are here to commission equipment procured under the District Road Network Improvement Program. Let me use this opportunity to express my deepest sense of gratitude to His Excellency, the President of the Republic, President Nana who has clearly shown his personal commitment towards finding innovative homegrown solutions to the problem of this country. As we allocate these construction equipment to the MMDAs per the specific needs of each district, we are confident that we will see massive upgrading of the road infrastructure, which will in turn boost local businesses, improve accessibility, and stimulate regional economies, amongst others. Investing in the capacities of MMDAs has become crucial for sustainable development and progress at the district level and in the whole country. Mr. President, your relentless dedication to improving the quality of life for our citizens is admirable, and your visionary leadership is driving significant change. It is initiatives like this that reflect the core values of our government, that is putting the needs of the people first. The government of President Nana Adudanko Akufuado has invested significantly in transportation systems, adopting a comprehensive approach that encompasses road, railway, and air transport. Notably, ladies and gentlemen, the government has invested 10 billion Ghana cities in the road sector alone since January 2024, expanding our road network and delivering on numerous infrastructure projects. These equipments under the DRIP 2024 could not have come at a better time as they will play a catalytic role in generating economic growth across the country. We have in the recent past, as a country, witnessed across frustrations and sometimes anger of our people due to the lack of mobility and accessibility of some roads. This is what this initiative seeks to address. This is the biggest effort ever in our nation's history in empowering district assemblies to carry out timely, effective, and efficient maintenance of rules within our, their jurisdiction. This event marks an important milestone in our pursuit of infrastructural development, and I'm honored to commemorate this momentous occasion with you all. This ceremony is proof, if any were needed, the determination of the Akufuado Baumia government to decentralize development and ensure that every corner of Ghana benefits from the progress and prosperity we strive to achieve. This fleet of 2,240 units includes motor graders, backhoes, rollers, wheel loaders, bulldozers, tipper trucks, concrete mixers, water tankers, load beds, and other essential equipment 
manufactured by the reputable Chinese company, Lu Gong Group of Companies, working in partnership with a dynamic Ghanaian private sector entity, the Just Bond Group of Companies. From 2017 to December 2023, we've witnessed an extraordinary expansion and improvement in our road network throughout the country. From 2009 to 2016, that is the Mills Mahama era, our nation completed 4,636 kilometers of roads and five interchanges and overpasses. However, since January 2017 till date, i.e. in the Akufuado Barumia era, we have witnessed exceptional improvements in our road network nationwide. We have successfully completed a total of 12,830 kilometers of roads across the country and added six more interchanges. These accomplishments include asphalt overlays, 1,936.48 kilometers, new constructions, 659.8 one kilometers, graveling, re-graveling, 6,529.82 kilometers, reconstruction and parcel reconstructions, 374.95 kilometers, rehabilitations, 1,271.90 kilometers, resealing, 108.24 kilometers, Surfacing, 1,948.76 kilometers, and key bridge constructions, 35. We're also currently working on, te on 10 new interchanges, five of which at PTC in Takrade, Nungwa, Ajingano, Flowerpot, and Obechabilamte Circle Phase 2 in Accra will be completed by the end of the year. And five more at Swami, Dong, Baria, Savannah, Dawinya, and Pram Pram will be completed in 2025. This development is unparalleled in the history of Ghana, reflecting a level of efficiency in addressing our infrastructure needs that has not been seen before. The impact of these developments is far-reaching, enhancing connectivity, boosting economic activities, and improving the quality of life for countless Ghanaians. My government believes that the importance of local road networks is key to the development of our nation. When roads are well maintained, travel becomes easier and more efficient. This reduction in travel time translates directly into economic gains. Goods can be transit, transported more quickly. Services can be delivered more efficiently and people can move about more frequently. This in turn leads to an increase in productivity and a boost to local economy. Moreover, by empowering metropolitan, municipal, and district assemblies with the resources and equipment necessary for road construction and maintenance, we are engendering a sense of ownership and responsibility. Local leaders and communities and traditional authorities will be directly involved in the development and upkeep of their infrastructure, ensuring that projects are tailored to meet local needs and conditions. This localized approach will also help to create jobs and stimulate local economies, providing employment opportunities in construction and related industries. The District Road Improvement Program DRIP is not just about roads. It is essentially about people. It's about ensuring that the benefits 
of our nation's economic growth are felt by every Ghanaian, regardless of where they live. It is about providing the infrastructure necessary to support sustainable development and improving the quality of life for all Ghanaians.